Resale Floor utilizes intuitive floor-by-floor -floor model input to design and optimize building systems constructed of composite and non-composite steel, concrete, masonry, wood, and coal form steel. In this video, we'll go over how to review our design results in Resa Floor. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've got our model started here so that it's ready to go. It's a multi-story composite steel building. Each floor already has their floor area load assigned. I also went ahead and generated some load combinations to solve this model. So I'm going to solve this model now, and you'll see Risa Floor is designing and optimizing the members and other elements based on the model's geometry, loading, and design rule set. With the solution done, you can now see the members have been assigned a design in the model view of my floor and you can see this for each floor. One option to view my results is here graphically in the model view. I'm going to select the view options here in the toolbar. Here under our line drawing, we can view results based on color basis. From the dropdown, we have many options, but sometimes the most used is the uni check here. Clicking apply, you can see our member colors change to show the code check values with a legend here in the top right corner. Back in the View Options window, down here we can turn on viewing properties related to our beam, column, or walls, just as we did under the line section. We can also view our results in the results spreadsheet format. All you have to do is actually just choose the beam results spreadsheet on the right hand side and here you'll see the summary of the beam design. We can also view our beam deflections by clicking on this spreadsheet. The deflections are calculated at 100 locations along a beam for each load category, and the max deflection and deflection ratio are displayed here. So I want to view more information on my member's design, so I'm going to use the tool over here at the left-hand toolbar called Detail Report. Then I'm going to select one of my beams and this will pull up the detailed report. Here in the top header of the report, you can toggle the load combination you wish to view results for. So if I change this to LC or load combination, I can choose to view my results for load combination 2. The top portion is the member's description and properties such as its size and shape. The next portion down here is the shear moment and deflection diagrams. Clicking into a diagram will expand it and you can investigate specific locations along the beam related to this parameter. If I scroll down even further, you can see our total loads for this member and their capacity percentage. If I scroll down, I can see the deflection data as well. If I want to print this report to a PDF, I can do so directly from this window. I can also hit the Options button at the top right report to pick which sections are displayed in the report. After you review the design results, maybe your architect doesn't like some of the beam depths for your building. In Risa Floor, you can choose to redesign portions of the design also. Click the Design button in the left-hand toolbar here, then choose a beam to redesign. In this window, it tells me the beam's current design results here, but I can also change my beam to be a shallower member based on my architect's request. I can recheck the member here and select OK to update, and ta-da, the member size is updated back in our model view. So I don't have to resolve an entire solution just to update a few member designs. At this point, we've designed and reviewed our structure, and we could then move on to exporting our model to Risa 3D for the lateral analysis and design, printing reports, or linking to a Revit model. For those topics, as well as information on other topics, please visit our website, risa.com.